Hey, what's up, gangsters? Uh, Bimbo here. I am making a video with Fudgy's permission on how to use uh, Loop Mint Sharp. It's really helpful if you want to do um, video. So if you want to include sound, uh, like MP4s or whatever. GitHub.com front slash Fudge Bucket 27 front slash Loop Mint Sharp. Uh, I'll drop the link in the in the thing. Today I'm just gonna do the single mint, um, but yeah, we're gonna walk through it. So loop mint sharp, automated single batch minting, single or batch minting on loop ring using the API. This is a net six, I don't really know what that means. You need Visual Studio. The easiest way for me or for like beginner people is to download one of the compiled releases in the releases section. And then it says you'll need to edit the included app settings.json file with your own loop ring details. So we're gonna go through that. I'm not gonna show you mine, obviously. And and you can't like remember to keep these values private. Don't share with anyone, because that it's like private keys and like information that you don't want out there, because then I'm not sure what I'm sure someone could steal all your shit or whatever. So we're gonna go to the releases. I, my, my uh, PC is, is Windows and is running on 64-bit. Uh, I'll do that, the Win64. I already have this, but I'm just going to go through the motions anyway, because the one that I have is pre-populated with, with all my information. So WinZip, you know, you extract it. Extract, excuse me. So in here we have the app settings.json that that you have to change and you have the loop mint sharp exe. Uh, I'm not a coder or anything like that. I'm just had a little bit of struggle doing this and thought that people could probably use the help. So when you open up the app settings.json then or json or json or whatever then that automatically opens up your uh, Visual Studio. Um, this, you leave this exactly as is. Now he, this person, I, maybe it was Fudgy, maybe it was a different release, has all of this information, what you need to put in. Your API key, your private key, your loop bring address, your account ID, your NFT amount, uh, so how many you want to mint, your royalty percentage, can be between zero oh, and 50. I didn't know that, I thought it was 10. NFT type uh, zero is ERC1155. I believe that those are have the ability to become smart contracts in the future. So you put zero if you want that, and then if you want ERC721, you put one. Valid until, how long this mint should be valid for should, shouldn't have to change this value, is what it says. So I'll just leave it at that. Uh, max fee token ID. The token ID for the fee, oh yeah, zero for Ethereum. So if you have like Ethereum in your wallet, because you're connecting this to your Loopring wallet. So if you have no no Loopring in your wallet, and only Ethereum, then you have to pick Ethereum. Otherwise, it's gonna try to get the fee. You're not gonna have any and it's gonna not work, likely. I, again, I'm not, I didn't make this, Fudgy made this. Uh, I, I asked him a bunch of questions on it. I asked him if I could make the video, he said sure. And then uh, he's on the LF, or uh, sorry, the Loop Ring Discord's uh, tech, NFT tech, whatever it's called, channel. L2 NFT tech talk. And, and everyone's always asking him questions about this. So I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna make a video on it. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so like, but I'm not a pro. I've done this once and I did the single batch only and I'm just doing it to help people out because I got stuck on it. Okay, uh, what's next? Next in the readme, uh, for Mac, there's some extra notes here. I'm not gonna go through that. If compiling yourself, please read the section about it below. So that's compiling yourself. I'm not compiling myself. I'm doing, I'm using the release, the, the previously, uh, released release um, and I'm doing the single mint so the next thing you have to do is go to loopring.io you have to use the desktop site because it gives you different information if you use the mobile site uh, ooh, look at that loopring price 
um, if you use the mobile, then it's not going to work because because the information is different. The private key is different. There's all this different shit in there. That's not going to work. So I'm just going to connect to my uh, loop ring wallet here. Now, waiting for signature. Now, when you go to your L2 wallet, you go to security, you go export account. It's waiting for signature. But if I hit approve, then all of my information is going to show up there. All of my information that says um, everything that you need to fill in here in the Visual Studio. There's going to be your Loopring API, your private key, it's all there. Your Loopring address, your account ID, NFT amount, whatever the amount you want to mint, the NFT royalty percentage, whatever you want it to be, the type, pick zero. I think, unless you know more than me and you want specifically ERC721, then pick that, whatever. Valid until, keep that. Max fee token ID. I'm doing one because I hold loop ring mostly. I don't even know if I have any Ethereum. The NFT factory stays the same, do not change. The exchange stays the same. That's the loop ring exchange address. So update that. Now save your app settings you save this file with the updated information then i have another folder with all this saved so i'm gonna bring it over here it's right here boop i'm gonna open this up my thing saved i'm not gonna i'm not i'm gonna double check this in my other window all my information is correct my loop ring and my api key blah 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 all good so that's good to go then i i don't even know if you have to do this but i i double click that I don't know if I was supposed to or, or what the uh, what the procedure was, but okay, now we have to go to Pinata. Okay, we're in. I forgot my password. I had to cut a little bit to uh, get that fixed up. So today, you guys probably, if you know me, then you know I'm a massive Short Destroyers fan. Uh, today's launch week and uh, I'm making uh, whatever, just a promotional NFT. So Pinata, if you're unfamiliar with this, pretty simple. You choose your file. I already have everything ready um, on my uh, on my desktop here. So this first one is going to be the image that we're going to use. Okay, it's called uh, Short Destroyers Image. Dot uh, PNG. Upload that. No problemo. Now. We're going to upload another file, select file. This is the movie, uh, movie 22, MP4. That's fine. Just call it that. You can change that if you want to. Um, uploading this. Then we need to make the metadata file. It's just going to take one second. So I'm going to open up my metadata file. Okay, we're back. Uh, image, this is what I put in my name. Loop Destroyers Launch Week Celebration. Being the super fan that I am, I want to celebrate by giving out this free NFT created by Jumbo Slice. Image. Image is the CID of the image. Copy. Okay, so then we go. I P F S front slash front slash and then you grab the CID for the image for the animation URL you do and this is for uh, I think mostly mp4s this you go same thing I P F S and then you grab your um, CID from the video here it is boop just like so then you go like this boop and then there we go. File, um, save metadata.json. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back to Fudgy's thing. Single mint. Once you have set up the app settings.json, you can call loop mint sharp via command line as follows, where the first argument is the IPFS CID of your meta.json file. So, this is where I got a bit mixed up. Uh, you go to your folder. You 
Um, I have it, I had it in here. And that's why like I double click this and then it opened for a second and whatever. But you go right click, open in terminal, okay? Then for me, I had to do what he suggested to do with the Mac users, the dot front slash loop mint sharp. I had to do that last time. So you do that, you go boop, space, the CI, oh shit, we gotta upload the metadata file. File, select a file to upload, metadata.json, metadata.json, whatever, just, or let's go um, SD launch metadata.json, upload, okay, then you grab the CID here. Give this a go, right here, loop and sharp, CID, enter. Then it says all this stuff, generated NFT ID, mint response, hash, blah, 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 blah. This looks like it is muy bueno caliente. So let's just double check, 150 of them. We got that so far, this might take a minute but it looks like it might've worked. We got 150 of them, that's good. Um, I will pause the video and, uh, oh my God, that's so nice. I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna come back and make sure that it works, okay? Okay, bye, love you. Just one second, look at my shirt destroyer. Oh my God, I fucking love you. Okay, back in a bit. All right, just finished editing the video, came back to my Loopring wallet. The image loaded up perfectly. Uh, you go over to the uh, L Explorer, L Explorer, whatever it's called. And here it is with sound. Perfect. So, perfect. Uh, Loop, mint, sharp, worked amazingly. And I hope this video helps. Feel free to share it. Feel free to check me out on Twitter and come get a free Loop Destroyer NFT to celebrate. Okay, bye, love you. Okay.